24th of October 2023, if you aren't real sure of the year. I must admit, I had to look it up myself. These things happen. Home now, six weeks. What do you say? It's good to be home. It's comfortable. There's no racing to catch trains, buses, planes, taxis, or camp. So that makes it reasonably acceptable. The downside of a holiday, which is also six weeks long, is that you tend, you, you lose touch a little bit with some sort of reality. Not, I've not had been in touch with reality since I was approximately eight years old, but they tell me you're supposed to have, hang a, hold a hunk of reality quite early in life. And it grows bigger and bigger and you then... I don't know, you grow up well-adjusted or maladjusted like myself. You come back from the holiday. Apart from the horror that is Brisbane International Airport, where you know 4,000 people will be parked waiting to be processed by approximately two Water guards. Doesn't just happen there. Right? You got any doubts about efficiency of airports? Go to Milan. Right? Milan Airport. Tell them we sent you. You will die trying to get through the place on time. Right? They have the standard four thousand people waiting. They just have one. Right? Or well, they have about three. Have you ever noticed that in in government jobs? Are you people taught this or something? They they manage to do. Absolutely nothing. Right, we're in a massive line. He says, very wildly up here at Milan Airport, panicking because we are getting close to leaving. Well, we aren't. The fucking aircraft is. So we all go and line up like we're supposed to be. Thousands of people. So they've got a learner woman on a scanning machine. So she doesn't actually understand anything she sees at all. Not a fucking drop, right? So she asks yet another person. Each time she sees something she doesn't understand or recognise. And the rate of non-recognition is approximately 99%. So that takes her and a guy or and another person Person to run that. She leaves only two others on three lanes. Right. But plenty of, as you get through, we've got lots of police and that to be just savagely if you misbehave. We've got none on the gate. Happens at every airport. Some I have to excuse. And probably the best one for travelling through is, believe it or not, Dubai, where they just do the business. I presume it's because they hate everybody that doesn't wear the big floor length shirt. Maybe they just don't like people. But what they do is actually get them through, get them out of the place. Not like Brisbane. But anyway, six weeks home, you get the bad taste of that out of your mouth as well, and it's not too bad. It's hard to adapt to changes. Well, I have I have trouble adapting to changes, and we don't. We're not much into changes at all. However, we're home, and now I'll have to settle down and tell you exactly what happened for every minute of the six weeks we've been home. Meanwhile, if you're a Jew... Or if you're from Palestine, neither of you are very happy at the moment. Neither of you have really been happy since the 1940s, but this appears to be getting a bit extreme now. You're actually damaging one another. I'm quite stunned at the anti-Israeli sentiment out there worldwide. I thought, given the fact that um, Israel, in theory, Israel was attacked, then most people would be um, <clears throat> up in arms about that. But no, they're more up in arms about the fact that Israel is now flogging the arse off um, Gaza. Imagine living there. Imagine putting up with that all the time. Not just the fact that women will wear sheets from top to bottom, but the fact that you can't get a decent night's sleep without the Israelis blowing the arse out of your house. How will it end is what people must be starting to think now, surely. How will it end or will it escalate? And will the Americas get fully involved in fighting someone else's fight? Yet again, in which case, as is dictated by history, they will lose because they don't they don't go too well if you look back at their history. They, A, can't fight a direct war anyway because they all get up and run away. And B, they don't go too much threatening. They run. But in the meantime, the gallant people of the US, there's two, have deigned it necessary to send several aircraft carriers towards the Middle East. Right. USA gets nervous when they think some of their um, further-flung fan bases are getting flogged. Right. Also, they're probably reasonably happy right now. I mean, they haven't even got a speaker because they can't find one sensible enough to actually hit the gavel. No, they test them. You get it on top. No, hit that. No. <coughs> Our American friends don't do very good when it comes to democracy. The Centre for Democracy, the bastion of democracy. No, you're talking shit. Right? That's like saying Israel wants to have barbecue. 
with the Lebanese and intends to enjoy them. It's the same thing. The only thing that's going to happen now is not going to affect us very much because we're, well, it will. The price of oil will go up and therefore the price of petrol. Even though we're on the other side of the world, the other side of the planet, it still affects us because that's how people make money here by ripping other people off. Taught that by the same people that are postulating in the uh, Middle East at the moment. It's sad that um, people can't get on. But it's not its not new for the Jews. It's not new for the Palestinians. It's not new for any of those out there, really. They've been at this for some considerable time. And once they get over it and they grudgingly make friends and bomb each other again, and it goes on and on, and people die senselessly, and nothing can be done, they'll be happy. Life is normal, is what people want. Not life without drama, not life without threats and bombs and shit going off. Just... None of that. They just want a normal. Sadly, they don't know what a normal life is.